हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ क्लास कंटेनिंग द फॉलोइंग डेटा मेंबर्स रजिस्टर नंबर नेम एंड फीस आल्सो क्रिएट अ मेंबर फंक्शन टू रीड एंड डिस्प्ले द डेटा यूजिंग द कांसेप्ट ऑफ पॉइंटर्स टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द प्री प्रोसेसर डायरेक्टिव्स हैश इंक्लूड आईओ स्ट्रीम डॉट एच हेडर फाइल द नेक्स्ट प्री प्रोसेसर डायरेक्टिव इज हैश इंक्लूड कंसोल इनपुट आउटपुट डॉट एच header file now let us define a class called student curly open brace and here we are going to use these three data members register number name and fees so let us write register number as integer type of data next name of the student as char and array of size 20 so float fees next after this in public section we are going to declare two user defined functions for example i'll write wide read in order to accept input and put semicolon i'm going to declare one more user defined function called wide display to display the output curly closing brace and here you need to put semicolon so that indicates it's a termination point of this class definition so both of these two user defined functions are declared inside the class definition we need to define them outside the class definition using scope resolution operator we have to write the return type wide and next name of the class is called student scope resolution operator then we have to write the name of the function as read curly open brace and here we are going to ask the user to enter the register number using see out statement see out in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the register number end the double quotation mark and put semicolon now we will accept it using seen stream extraction operator reg eno which we have declared here next we will ask the user to enter the student name see out enter the student name seen name next we will ask the user to enter the fees seen fees next curly closing brace for this read after reading these three data we have to uh, display it we have to show them in a output so using wide display here i'm going to write wide name of the class that is student scope resolution operator then function name is display curly open brace and here i'm going to display c out stream insertion operator and now i'm going to write here register number is equal to end the double quotation mark and write reg no end l similarly see out in a double quotation mark i'll write student name is equal to name stream insertion operator and l and semicolon c out here i'll write student fees is equal to fees stream insertion operator and l and now you can uh, put here curly closing brace that indicates uh, it's a closing of display function now uh, we'll write wide main function so always execution of c++ program starts from main function only and in a main function we are going to create the object of this class so that is student i'll write student s is one object that is a common normal object and we are going to write asterisk symbol sp so that is student pointer it is a pointer type of object of this type so that's the reason in a question they have given pointers to object so what is the definition of pointer pointer is a special variable that holds the address of another variable so here i am going to write the pointer sp is equal to 
ampersand of s and put semicolon so pointer is a special variable that holds the address of another variable now we'll write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now whenever we use pointers to object we have to use the member access operator that is arrow mark so i'm going to write here sp arrow mark arrow mark can be typed on a keyboard using hyphen and greater than symbol here i'm going to write read and this arrow mark is treated as member access operator with the help of this it is possible for us to call read function and it is possible for us to call display function so i'll use the pointer object sp member access operator and then i'll write display and get ch function and then curly closing brace once we compile and run this program as we already know that the execution starts from main function once the compiler encounters with this particular statement directly control jumps to read function and it is going to ask the user to enter the register number so it is going to print enter the register number and here for example i'm going to enter 0 1 so which will be stored in reg you know next it will ask the user to enter the name enter the student name for example here i'm going to write raj next it will ask the user to enter the fees here i'm going to write for example 10000 so it will be stored in fees so once the compiler encounters with curly closing brace again control transfers to main function and it is going to execute the next statement that is sp arrow mark display so when the compiler encounters with this again control jumps to this particular user defined function here you can see we have printed out all these values so here register number is equal to it is going to print register number is equal to so regno is holding value 0 1 next uh, you can see here student name is equal to so name is here it is raj next student fees will be displayed is equal to so student fees we have entered 10000 so 10000 will be printed now it's time for execution of this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time and it's time for us to go for executing this program let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error let us go for execution of this program by pressing control f9 here you can see it is asking the user to enter the register number i'm going to enter one and then it is asking enter the student name here i'm going to type raj and press enter now it is asking fees i'm going to enter 10000 and i'll press enter now you can see it is displaying register number is equal to one student name is equal to raj student fees is equal to 10000 i hope you understood this if yes please write down in the comment box as yes thank you